Hello friends, welcome to NEP Solutions. Friends, today we are going to solve the geology major question paper of the first semester. In our previous class, we have solved two marks questions. The link is in the description box, you can check there. And now we are going to solve the four marks questions. Friends, in, me, in each main, they will give four questions. Out of that, we have to write the three questions and totally we will get 48 so here is our geology question paper of the first semester and uh, these are the two marks questions that we have solved in the previous video you, you can check in the description box and these are the four marks questions and the first question is describe the structure and function of the Kolge body and here is the answer they have asked the structure and function of the Golgi body so you, you have to draw the diagram and label the parts and then you can get easily one marks and the next Golgi is a cellular organelle present in the most of the cells of the eukaryotic organisms and its parts are cisterni cisterni Golgi body comprise of 5 to 8 cup shaped series of compartments known as cisternae. Cisternae is a flattened disc shaped pouches that make up the Golgi body and uh, functions. The functions of the Golgi bodies are it helps in the packaging and secretion of the proteins. It helps in the packaging and secretion of the proteins and it also helps in the synthesis of glycolipids it helps in the synthesis of glycolipids and it helps in the synthesis of complex polysaccharides it helps in the synthesis of co complex polysaccharides of the cell wall and the second question is define endocytosis define endocytosis endocytosis is the process wherein materials are move into cell rather than engulfed by the cell endocytosis is the process wherein materials move into the cell rather than engulfed by the cell this occurs by an enfolding of the plasma membrane to form vacuole the reverse of endocytosis is exocytosis this is all about the endocytosis and the next question is write a note on lysosome lysosome is a membrane bound cell organelle that contain digestive enzymes and lysosome help in digestion of in intracellular substances and it helps in the removal of dead cells and it uh, it plays a major role in metamorphosis and it helps in the fertilization and uh, it also helps in the osteogenesis osteogenesis is a inherited disorder that are characterized the fragile bones fragile bones means the bones which are which break easily Fragile bones means weaker bones. Weaker bones. Okay. And the next question is describe the structure and function of the ribosomes. Ribosomes. Cell organelles composed of both RNA and proteins that convert genetic code into chains of amino acid. And this is the definition of ribosomes. And ribosomes are scattered in the cytoplasm of the cell and these are the protein factories of the cell ribosomes are the protein factories of the cell and ribosomes helps in the photosynthesis and these are these are helps to form the structural proteins and the next main answer any three of the following and the first question is write a note on chemical structure of rna rna is a molecule that is present in the majority of the 
living organisms and viruses it is made up of nucleotides which are ribose sugar attached to nitrogenous bases and phosphate group rna is a single stranded structure and the nitrogenous bases are adenine guanine thymine cytosine and uracil and the next question is describe the type of dna dna is nothing but the deoxyribonucleic acid in dna there are two types one is autosomal dna in autosomal dna the characters are inherited from the both the parents from mother and the mother and father and the second one is mitochondrial dna in this it is inherited only from the mother not from the father and the next question is explain the prophase 1 of meiosis with diagram prophase 1 of meiosis first you have to draw a diagram and label the parts then you can get one marks easily and its features are it is longer than mitotic prophase it is divided into leptotene zygotene pagetine diplotene diakinases in this chromosome begins to condense pairing of homologous chromosome starts and the crossing over of non sister chromatids starts and termination of chiasmata happens and this instead of writing this you can write the functions of each these leptotene zygotene pagetine diplotene diakinases if you write the functions of these no, there is no need to write the these explanation and the next question is write a note on cellular disjunction cell junctions are a class of cellular structures consisting of multi protein complexes that provide contact or adhesion between neighboring cells or between a cell and the extracellular matrix in animals they also maintain the paracellular of epithelia and control paracellular transport cell junctions are especially abundant in epithelial tissues combined with cell adhesion molecules and extracellular matrix cell junctions help hold animal cells together and the next main fourth main answer any three of the following and the first question is describe sex determination and mechanism of drosophila melanogaster in drosophila sex determination is achieved by a balance of female determinants on the x chromosome and the male determinants on the autosomes normally flies have either one set or two x chromosomes and two sets of autosomes if there is but one x chromosome in diploid cell that is one x chromosome and two autosomes the fly is male if there are two x chromosomes in a diploid cell that is 2x raised to is to 2a means two x chromosomes and two autosomes the fly is female thus xo drosophila are sterile males in flies the y chromosome is not involved in the determining sex rather it contains genes active in forming sperm in and the Adapt. next question is describe the y linked inheritance and the answer is y linked inheritance is known as the inheritance of genes on the y chromosome as only males mainly have a y chromosome the y linked genes can only be transmitted from father to son the y linked inheritance is also known as holandric inheritance humans and other different mammalian males have the sex chromosomes such as x and y chromosomes the y chromosome is generally smaller than the x chromosome 
and therefore carries relatively fewer genes besides the genes for sperm development specific hormonal output and the other traits characterizing males the y chromosome also carries genes other than for sex determination this is about the y linked inheritance and the next question is write a note on color blindness in color blindness man. is usually hereditary condition that means it is commonly passed down from our parents red the green co green color blindness is passed from mother to son on the 23rd chromosome that is called as the sex chromosome as it additionally determines sex chromosomes are structures which incorporate genes these incorporate the instruction for the development of cells tissues and organs the color blind gene is carried on the carried on one of the x chromosome since men have only x chromosome if he is x chromosome incorporates the color blind gene he could be color blind xy a woman could have both two normal x chromosome so that she cannot be color blind or a or be a carrier or one normal x and one color blind carrying x chromosome in which ke in which case she could be carrier or rarely she will inherit a color blind x from her father and a color blind from her mother and be a color blind herself <coughs> she will pass on color blindness to all of her sons if that is the case and the main question number 5 answer any three of the following three and four total marks and the first question is describe human karyotyping a karyotype is a number of chromosomes in particular person a karyotype can be used to know the chromosomal numbers or structural problems in an individual there are 22 pairs of autosomal chromosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes in humans female karyotypes are 46 which are xx which has 2x chromosomes males have karyotypes that are 46 and that are x and y Question. write a note on structural aberrations in chromosomes with example structural chromosome abnormalities occur when there is a change in the structure or, or parts of a chromosome there are four types of ab abnormalities and the first one is deletions the term deletion simply means that a part of chromosome is missing or deleted example for this is kraidochart syndrome and the second one duplications the term duplication simply means that a part of chromosome is duplicated or present in two copies example for this is palister killian syndrome and the third one inversion an inversion is a chromosome rearrangement in which a segment of chromosome is reversed end to end example is hemophilia a and the fourth one translocation translocation occurs when a chromosome breaks and the fragmented pieces reattach to the different chromosomes example for this is down syndrome and the third question describe the x linked dominance x linked dominant inheritance is a mode of genetic inheritance by which a dominant gene is carried on the x chromosome the father passes his xx chromosome to his daughter and his y sex chromosome to his son so all daughters of a male who has the trait will also have the trait for this mode of inheritance males get their gene for the trait from their mother so sons can have the trait only if their mother also has the trait this is about the 
X-linked dominance. And the last question is, explain the life cycle of trypanosoma. Trypanosoma are unicellular, parasitic and flagellated protozoans that belong to the family Kinetoplastia. The word trypanosoma has been taken from the Greek word trypano means borer and soma means body because of their corkscrew like motion. All the members belonging to the zooflagellate protozoan trypanosoma genus are referred to as trypanosomes. And their life cycle is like this. They are unicellular, parasitic and zooflagellate protozoans. The mitochondrial genome of the trypanosomes is known as the kinetoplast DNA or kDNA. It is made up of catenated circles and mini circles and requires a different set of proteins during cell division. Trypanosoma exist in two different types and that have different types of life cycles. Stercorarian and salivarian species. The Stercoraria trypanosoma species first infect a tritomine kissing bug during a blood meal and develops in the posterior gut of the insect. It is then released in the fecus followed by the deposition of the skin of the host. The trypanosoma then penetrates in the body of the host and causes infection. The salivarian species develops in the anterior gut of the t sets fly and is transmitted, transmitted to the host by insect feed. The trypanosomes undergo series of morphological changes during their transition from invertebrates to vertebrates. Trypanostegote is identified by their flagella that is attached to the body by an undulating membrane and the kinetoplast lies in the posterior portion of the body. This form of trypanosomes is found in the vertebrate host but is developed in the vertebrate host. In vertebrate host. Here we complete the first semester geology question paper of RCU Rani Chanama University. Please subscribe NEP solutions for more updates. Thank you for watching.